Hello and welcome back to uh, Jupiter Hill. We're on a very good run. It was a very shaky run uh, for a while. And in fact, at one point, I literally saw one point of health, one HP. But uh, things have been going very well since then. And uh, I mean, we've got my favorite gun. We've got my favorite gun. And uh, how can how can I even like I, I just if I lose this run at this point, I don't have a leg to stand on in terms of my ability as a Jupiter Hell uh, player. Ooh, shotgun. No, we don't need shotgun. Don't forget, wait for entrenchment. That's all you gotta do is wait for entrenchment. We keep entrenchment as long as I uh, don't move. And it just makes life so much better. When do we get, okay, level 14. So we just hit level 11. Um, I kind of would like to get level 2 scavenger because that's going to give us 762 ammo. Or at least more 762 ammo. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting more hoarding as well. We're not going to need level 2 scavenger. Um, so yeah, let's get this. I'm going to look at other skills as well at some point. But uh, I, I, you know, ammo is the thing I care about the most right now because... That's the only thing that's going to uh, take us down is if I run out of ammo for the hammerhead. Speaking of the hammerhead, where are we here with this? Um, does more damage. Extreme velocities, piercing enemies and cover. It, this is like an end game like tier weapon. Um, just uh, just want to make sure that everything's okay. Like we can we can drop almost everything else. I might uh, pick up a rocket launcher if I find something really good, but I don't know. There's going to be very few reasons for us to trade. Okay, the, these things are nasty. I recall these things being. Oh, we wanna we wanna wait a turn, right? Gotta wait a turn. Don't forget to wait a turn. Gotta keep reminding myself. Fucking room. Yeah, we are gonna run out of ammo or uh, sorry, room in our inventory, unfortunately. So I'm gonna drop some shotgun ammo. I won't drop the rockets, but I'm going to drop the shotgun ammo in favor of things like grenades. They are going to be circumstantially useful. Like, we're, we're tearing absolute butthole now, now that we have the, the hammerhead. I, I would say that the hammerhead is borderline overpowered, but I don't want them to nerf it. Please don't ever nerf this gun. I swear to God. Nice. That was almost a scary situation. We want to put an end to that portal. We'll get some experience for doing so. Armored Ravenger. That's not great. We want to lure them out. Okay, never mind. We, we want to just kill them dead because we have the ability to, to, to do so. I will go ahead and uh, we should be able to kill them. Pick up the ro those rockets. So if I walk here, will that TP me? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. There is so much more stuff on the ground. There's a lot of ammo and stuff. Oh, well. That was a serious breach. I thought that maybe there there was probably some extra XP we could have gotten there. Oh, well. This must be Io. But how did I get here? Okay, so we're on Io. We're about halfway through this game, I think. A lot of stuff going on over there. Cry Marine. Cry Marine isn't good for us. I'm gonna go ahead and get some cover and then entrench. We have uh, resistance to fire, like amazing resistance to fire. However, uh, we don't have any resistance when it comes to ice. So that's that's a bummer. We have uh, really nice armor, so there's very little reason for us to um, take what's on the ground. We could take this helmet just in lieu of the fact that it has um, some durability. Oh. Okay, we're going to move a little bit. Like, how can you argue with results like that? 
That's just ridiculous. Like, it is 100%, even if the enemy is within range that they can hit us on the next turn, I think it is always worth waiting because we will just straight up take damage. Like, very, there's going to be very few enemies at this point that we can take out with one hit, even with the hammerhead. Um, so getting that that uh, cover bonus and getting that entrenchment uh, damage negation is just like very, very good. And, and it's going to make a huge difference. But even when something is within melee range, it's worth getting that uh, damage negation. It is basically always the correct move to try and get our entrenchment. So auto calibrate, install auto calibration system on a weapon. I'm never, I've never been clear on what this means and it doesn't, we can't do it on the hammerhead. So why even bother? And I don't think we can apply any ha mods to the hammerhead as well. We will repair our armor. I guess we could um, get some, some uh, packs. We could get like a bulk pack. Um, and we could get another bulk pack, although I should save some multi-tools uh, for our, basically for our armor. You know, we can have a look at it for our, oh, let's look at it for our combat. Fire resistant. Well, we already have fire, like nothing. Partial cold protection. Now see that, that would be good for us. We, we have, I don't know if maybe our relic completely negates that. Who's next? I guess maybe we could have taken that guy out without um, without necessarily entrenchment, but the call is generally a good one. Why, why was that on fire? Oh, it's because of our relic. It sets everything on fire. Is that a mine cry phase kit? Oh, that's something else entirely. We got some multi-tools. I am 100% gonna want to roam around and pick up all the ammo, including things like power. We could pick up something like a cry plasma pistol, but I really, really don't see the purpose in that. Uh, the only thing I'm going to want to pick up is like a rocket launcher, and that is for like very specific, specific circumstantial use. Um, we could charge this thing. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, why did it default to repair? Um, as we'll leave now. I just wanted to charge it twice. I wanted to charge it twice and then uh, get another um, mod pack. But unfortunately, me hitting it twice actually meant uh, repair our armor. Cancel lockdown. We could cancel the lockdown or I could get quite a lot of experience points from that lockdown. This guy's the limit, really. Oh. Okay. I don't know what the, the correct move was there, to be honest. Manufacture ammo, manufacture grenades. Oh, that's good to know. We are kind of sitting pretty for ammo at this point. We are picking up rockets. Eventually, I do want a rocket launcher. Shadow halls. I seem to recall the shadow halls are debatably worth it. Even when you're very set up like we are right now, they're, they're kind of not worth it. Ouch. No, no reason to be spooked by us taking damage. Remember, it's it's negated by quite a lot. Not not a huge amount, but enough. No room in inventory. Okay, do we want to drop something for this? Maybe the nine millimeter for a gas grenade. Gas grenade could be good. Need to get rid of some shit. Well, we should be able to pick it up because we can convert it into 762. No. I do want to get some uh, hoarding, hoarding level two and three because that's going to give us more room for, you guessed it, ammo. The fucking ammo. Reload. Oh, I did not reload after the last, last combat and that cost me. So I think we do want to use a, a med kit. <sighs> We still have entrenchment. Aha! I'm sure I heard something. 
get that entrenchment. Oh, that's this is the security. I mean, like, I, yeah, like <laughs> we take things out, no problem. Feels good. I really hope they don't um, nerf the hammerhead. Okay, do we want? We don't want scavenger three. I don't think that's gonna work for us. We could just take resistance. As long as you're moving, you gain damage resistance gain against attacks from the front. No, I don't think we want that. We could take sustained fire. Um, that would work with us, our, our build, I think. Like we we are already taking sustained fire, so that could be good. Power jack, nah. Max mod level could be nice. Stays around, smoke screen, smoke screen. All mods are returned when dismantling. Meh. Let's take sustained fire. Juggler, I wish I could take like um basically respec out of juggler. We were I think we I don't know what we were what was happening there, but these uh these reavers are are going to hurt us pretty badly. So we're not great for like we're taking quite a bit of damage. Nice. We'll wait out if anything if there's anything else in here. Probably there is some something. I, I hear something. Two hundred two thousand three hundred and twenty five experience until the next level. I don't know. Might not be so bad. Definitely worth coming in here. We're gonna get some health back without having to use a health kit. Oh, we have to use something. Could use a large health kit, med kit. Stim pack does what again? Doesn't that just uh, alleviate certain ability? We should drop the smoke grenades. I know smoke grenades are useful, but we have renewable smoke grenades, so I, I really don't care to use them. I'm not crazy about entering the room. Oh, that relic is gonna get me killed completely forgot that it was going to set those things on fire. Them on. So I'm going to move. Honestly, I feel like I should just wait it out. Done. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't great, but it was okay. Um, on the floor, auto med 5 auto repair. Yeah, this thing is actually really nice. And apparently our helmet is like dead. So that was okay. That was the last thing to fight. Pick and go around and pick up no everything. No fucking rule. Okay, okay, we're good. Um, hmm. Could stand, we, we really need more room in our inventory. Cause I'm not comfortable with just having 200 bullets. You can lose that. Like, you can blow through that if you're not careful. Manufacture grenades, we don't need grenades. All right, I guess I'm gonna go to the shadow halls. Oh, you know what? I should explore that, um, that last little room down there. Just in case. There's usually something lurking around the corner. No, nope, not this time. I'm not, I don't regret checking though I am glad I jumped back in this game I don't think here's the thing I don't think I'll be playing technician again my my best technician run is basically turned into a run much like all of my other successful runs is a hammerhead run um I guess if I wanted to play technician again I would go for like a drone heavy run because I do recall enjoying that we need to close these those are what I thought the other portal was.
taking my time with each turn. Hammerhead level three. Oh, you apparently get entrenchment just by loading your gun? This is interesting information. Do we want this? Tactical computer aim assist. Interesting. Durability 1000. I mean, our current helmet is apparently only offering us one protection. This is level three. This is max level. It's offering the max amount of damage. Um, heal a bit of health entering a level. Repairs itself up to 30%. Interesting. I might switch to the analytic visor and then try and put a mod on it. We don't have any mods, so, you know. Commit local changes. Execute queued control scripts. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, but that might release gas. I would like to kindly inform everyone that from now on supply storage is placed in Shadow Halls L3. The former rooms are off limits and any unauthorized access will be punished. Uh, I am not sure what that means. Like, what is being stored? I guess just stuff. Execute queued control scripts. I'm sure if I had been paying attention to previous messages, I would know exactly what queued script is in there. But um, I'm going to default to not touching it until until we've cleared this floor and I, I have a I know how to get out. It could be that executing that script would be very helpful to us, maybe. But um, yeah, reloading your gun also gives us entrenchment. Very good to know. Um, Okay, uh, we should use a health pack. This provides health regeneration, bleed, pain, immunity. Combat packs are not super great. And heals like a small med kit. Okay, so... Uh, I guess I'm going to use the combat pack. That hit the spot. It's like, okay... Um, but I think out of combat, it's a bit better than, like, using it like a panic button. We wanted that entrenchment. Need to... Uh, recall that we set things on fire. I didn't get my entrance. Ooh, there's a nice, there's an interesting weapon. Fragged. No, we're not dropping the hammerhead for that. Um, let's drop the assault rifle. Did this portal already get used or blocked? Uh, electromagnetic projectile weapon launching slugs at high velocity aiming adds aim bonus to critical chance damage 30 pierce versus 18 times three and these are also piercing so i i don't think it's actually that much better at all i think the hammerhead is going to no generally way. trump everything so um yeah. No room in inventory. Okay, I think we're... Well, we're, I was going to say we're just about done on this floor, but I don't actually think that's true. There's, there's plenty of level left. We can avoid the barrels so that we can try and use them to our benefit. Always super worth it. We can smoke screen and back up. That is an option we can consider. Definitely on the table. Good lord. Okay, let's uh let's smoke. 
Let's do exactly what I was just talking about and then prepare. Hey, level 13. Um, I think we're going to take Hoarder. I don't have entrenchment. Takes care of this area. I moved once and then I was like, but I still have entrenchment, right? Nope. So that was the last of the enemies. So in theory, there's only goodies left on this floor. Oh, combat pack. Eh. Meh. There's a lot of meh going on on this floor. Shadow Halls too. Let's uh, let's commit that script first. I sure hope it's not going to be something that affects the next floor negatively. That would be bad. It's like, not only is it, are we releasing gas, but it's going to be releasing gas on the next floor as the well. Okay, we, I think we do want to uh, pick up that frag grenade. Doesn't have an explosion radius, but packs a punch and strips armor. That'd be nice to keep. Um, I never know what these red key cards are supposed to be for. I've never figured that out. Uh, I guess I'm dropping rockets. We can always make rockets. Well, no, so we cannot actually just make rockets. Uh, I would need to commit to taking scavenger level three if I want to make rockets. So, you know, are we taking this? Let me take it and then see what it does for us. 20%. To experience gain, ooh, plus 50% aim action bonus. I honestly think that this is really nice. But that aim action bonus, I'm pretty sure only means that uh, when we, like, stop to aim, we're going to be gaining a bonus. So I actually don't think that that's necessarily super useful. But the extra experience is very nice. Let's commit local changes. Scripts executed successfully. Uh, I don't know what that means. If only I had been paying attention. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think that did if I already moved over, like, mount, basically looked at the script at some other point. Um, you know, just out of curiosity, I'd like to know what that was supposed to do. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff in a vault. Not really liking this floor. Not, I hate not seeing things. Not seeing things is actually creepier than seeing everything at once. Okay. There's our first something. Gonna be careful. Just, you know, gotta take things one step at a time. Okay. I debated moving back. Might have been the smart move. But I wasn't sure if maybe they would get a hit off from me moving back and then I would still be taking shots like in the same way. So I figured just get the entrenchment and I'll take the same amount of damage no matter what. Strong room. I think that's, uh, I don't, I think that that is like basically a free bonus. We go there and we can actually come back. Those are fairly rare. Wow. Okay, we're gonna need to take a health kit. That was nasty. Oh, we're taking acid damage. Ouch. Shadow Hall's three.
did not reload from the last one, so that's that was a mistake. Let's go ahead and unlock the vault. Let's check this a little bit. Everything, the gas seems to have some viral component that adapts to the changes of our hardware without a biological counter. I doubt any strictly mechanical solution is possible. I think we've probably read that before. None of these are um, like relevant to our current run. They're just all story stuff, I think. So there's gonna be some nasties up here. The rocket launcher reavers are kind of an issue. We're definitely going to need some um, survivability against that. Okay, do we get anything cool from this? AV utility amp. Um, smoke. Our current one has metabolic boost and smoke gen. This one has auto med 10 pockets. Might actually be good. Pockets, if pockets is what I think it is. Uh... Consumables are used twice as fast. Okay, I mean, that's interesting. Heal a bit of health entering a level. That's not bad. That offers us basically the kind of survivability I was just talking about. There's still enemies on this floor, so I shouldn't move too quickly. I am going to go to the storeroom. Where are these enemies? Are they, ooh, there, there are some. There's some stuff. Accuracy mod pack, let's see what we can put that on. Um, our analytic visor increases critical hit chance. Increases max range of weapon by one. That'd be kind of nice. Um, I just don't think it's worth that. I, I think the critical hit chance is actually... Like, I generally don't go for crit chance. But I think that that is worth it in this case. Was this worth it for basically the health I lost by coming in this room? I don't know. Ooh, we have some interesting combat armor. What is our current combat armor giving us? Padded, doubles your armor durability, although it is almost dead. Bleed status immunity, it is quite nice. We could uh, dismantle it and then add it to this combat armor though. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll see if we can't maybe get some stuff off of it. Confirm. And then we'll pick this up. Oh, we can't pick it up. Uh, we are carrying quite a lot of stuff, aren't we? Guess I'll use this med kit. And then let's do this um, bulk mod pack onto the combat armor. Um, yeah, let's make it durable. I assume the combat armor is pretty good. It's offering us six protection, which is nice. And it has room for three more mods. So I should make an effort to seek out some mods when I can. Clear. Okay, so now we're going to check out the strong room. I think I'm I'm okay to do that. I don't know. Like I am taking damage. Uh, we don't have a lot of protection for things like rockets. I don't know what I should be doing differently for things like rockets, but I want it. Okay, let's back up a bit.
Okay, that was that was pretty good. I think that was a good use of the uh, smoke and backing up. Okay, there's still two enemies in there. Fuck this thing in particular. Yeah, that that's nasty. Nice level 14. That's gonna give us our third level three entrenchment. 50% damage reduction, 75% resistances. Very good. New relic. The grass. I think that means we're done. We've killed everything. Cryo Reaver's Claw. Is this going to be like the same business, only reverse? Cold status immunity anytime you damage an enemy. Cold is applied. Um, I think this is better in some ways. Full immunity fire status effect. Things in melee range are set on fire. Your burning status effects are 50% stronger. Well, we're not doing a, a burning status. So this one actually applies a cold status to enemies, which could be really good. But negative 100% fire resistances. Yeah, I mean, that sucks. Destroy the currently used one. Sure, we'll, we'll switch from fire to ice. Sing a song about it. It'll be good. Write a, we'll write a uh, five to seven novel series about it. Pick up that crack grenade. Pick up that frag grenade. What do we got here? AV3 plasma rifle and the wave splitter. Apparently another um, like special weapon. I'll, I'll pick it up. Why not? Let me see this shit. Oh, it's, a, it's like a lightsaber. <laughs> pick up a plasma grenade. The wave splitter, let's have a look at it. Um, of this sword, shivers with energy, charges with kills, releases energy in a plasma wave. I mean, 80 plasma, it does absurd damage. It actually does more than the level 3 hammerhead, but it is melee, is the thing. I'm not sure if, like, if I'm entrenched, um, I'm pretty sure melee is not the ticket for us because it means moving and i'm not sure if even if i like hit something and don't kill it will i um you know will i still get to keep my entrenchment i'm i'm thinking the hammerhead is still what we want it's unfortunate that we got the wave splitter in a run that doesn't synergize with our what we've taken if i had if i could, if i knew i was going to level up enough i might consider taking like uh juggernaut um we can't obviously we can't do blade master uh but we could do like blade dancer so we could take juggernaut one and then take blade dancer that's two levels um and then double down on juggernaut it could offer us a little bit of like th the one nice thing about this is it doesn't use ammo as far as i know right so, um, you know, we could, we could go, um, Juggernaut one, then three levels of Blade Dancer. That's four levels in total. And, uh, and then two more on Juggernaut for basically survivability versus like, you know, I could take Hoarder another two times. So we're like, we're looking at four levels minimum max, like we're looking at five or six yeah six levels to make it worth using the blade the the the, the wave master or whatever it's called so i don't know <clears throat> i don't know it's it's tempting it's tempting to completely change our run just to use this one weapon but uh, i don't think i'm gonna do it Anyway, that's going to end the episode. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.